Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's first thing in the morning, got a beautiful sunny day here today. Finally, no wind, no rain in sight. So, do I want to start off by cutting these rocks in all the way down here, all the way around, which I'm not looking forward to? It's a freaking, this thing's still like five, six hundred pounds. Or, do I make the shakes for the roof? What do I do? Yeedy beedy body mo! I just can't, I just don't know. And as Ben Studio on the Lake says, this is just a useless piece of art. I don't know. Silly well. Okay. So this is a tapered cedar shake. Western red cedar. See? It's thicker there. And it's tapered down here. So it's thinner, right? So this cedar log I got on the beach last week. Or a couple weeks ago. It's cracked and it's got some deficiencies. But I'm going to cut this. So this is your standard cedar shake. Again, I repeat myself. Jesus. That's 18 inches long. So I'm going to cut cut this a piece here 18 inches long see uh and we also need it to be edge grain okay so yeah that's what i'm gonna do Don't worry, Evil Rick, I know what you're thinking. Jordy, Jordy, you need to get a fro, like a proper shake splitter. Fro, F-R-O-E, I think it's called a fro. That's no problem, Evil Rick. I don't need, I don't need a forge to make a fro. I don't need a forge, I can just get her done. That's what I'm gonna do is just get her done. Okay, Evil Rick? Goddamn fro. Oh, hi, Rick. That's just a little Echo uh, chainsaw bar, brand new, that came with my 2511. I'll never use it. Here's a grinder, okay. Do you got one of these just, just, uh, I was going to say just carved rub. You got one of these, Evo Rick, huh? Okay, just a normal grinding wheel on there. Would you look at that? I could make it a lot sharper. I could make this into a knife if I wanted to, Evil Rick. Oh yeah, you're thinking, yeah, what are you gonna do for a handle? Well, I'll show you. Hold on, Evil Rick. That's all. Just a set of ice grips. No need to complicate things. <laughs> Hi, Rick. Sometimes, just sometimes, you just need to get shit done. Okay, I will say this. This cedar is dry. It was a lot easier to split. It was a lot easier to split than this soaking wet cedar. Okay, so um, 
you can see this once this stuff's dry it's going to get lighter but it's not going to get light like that so they're different colors so i'm just going to scatter them around like you know like i'll have this here and then this here I'll just have them different colors they'll eventually gray with the uh with the uh sun so but anyways now i gotta do some roofing How's that for some West Coast good old red cedar roofing? Oh, would have been much easier to buy them, but I want this whole project to be handmade. It's already 12 o'clock. I got here at 9 this morning. 9 10, took me three hours to split those and shake it. Carry on. There you go. There's, there's a close up. Just carve up. Now I gotta find a better block of cedar to uh, split. And I think that one there, that whiter one, has been looking me in the face the whole time. Because that one there on the ground is the second one that I split. It was just nothing but a goddamn pain in the ass. Because it wasn't straight grain. The grain was all like. Anyways. Okay, so I tried to go back into my shop and cut up that log like I showed you and it wasn't working. It just wasn't working. I got pissed off. Yeah, and it's just, um, I don't know. I needed one of those things, one of those proper tools. It's probably karma for poking jokes at uh, Evil Rick. So I started carving rocks on the bottom. Trust me, that's hard on the back. I'm gonna be laying down pretty soon, but anyway, so I got that done. And then I'll start doing up here. Okay, okay. Okay, the carving station is a mess. It's a friggin' mess. Hey Larry Dale, David Grass, and all you carving fusion messy things. Look at this mess. This is the messiest it's ever been. So my buddy Stuart came over and helped me split more shingles. The roof's done. Well, I still got to put the ridge caps on it. I know you can't see um, too well, but so I and I sanded these flower petals more. Like I said, I'm going to do Cetol on here. Um, I might just sand the high points. I don't even know if I need to put the veins. What do you guys think? Um, I kind of sanded the rocks. I got some rocks burnt down here. Got some rocks burnt down here. I'll burn in there tomorrow, then sand them. Then tomorrow, I got to carve rocks on the back side of this. I got to carve rocks up here. Oh, I sanded these flower petals too. I think I'm going to carve real eyes in this guy too. Might as well. Try and make him look happy, right? So, that's that. Oh boy, I still got to take all this out too, like at least six inches for succulents or whatever. Um, yeah, those that was hard on the back, but it's done, and that's done. This is the back side of it. Oh yeah, I also, um, instead of having up here, you see the vines are here, right? But instead of having it just black, 
I carved kind of just like just some quick rocks kind of just a texture thing I don't know if it will work or not but I really don't care I'll burn in here and then I'll sand the high points just give it another little bit of texture that's it I don't know if this video will be long enough carving fusion over and out by the time I'm done this thing it's gonna be like 20 videos but I don't care hope you're all well and uh, oh yeah I gotta be up at 6 in the morning because my bees here I gotta come here when it's dark because my bees aren't are not prospering here properly they need to go where my buddy's bees are the, the pro beekeeper they need to go where he his bees are so they learn how to um, do the bee thing better so I gotta come here at 6 in the morning tomorrow tie these up make sure the bees can't get out and um, he's gonna take come and take the bees away and hopefully sooner or later I can get a beehive in the carving okay that's it for now bye can I get a chocolate milkshake like size uh, just a regular anything else uh, bacon cheddar burger okay no tomatoes okay uh, extra pickles extra pickles yeah a fry okay and gravy please sure okay thanks bacon cheddar combo with a regular chocolate shake no tomato extra pickle with a fries and a gravy on the side yeah, yeah. dry ahead thanks please.